I'm Kenny Cable with Pro Tool Reviews. I'm going to give you a little tour here of DeWalt's Tool Connect. I realize a lot of a lot of the smart tech in tools now is kind of intimidating. You know, let's walk through this a little bit. You can decide for yourself if it is something that's genuinely useful to you, or maybe you want to go with just the standard model. Now, I've got the uh, DCF888, the impact driver, and it's built on the DCF887. So if you wanted the not smart or dumb version of this, go to the 887. It's a fine tool. If you want the Tool Connect, it's just one number up, it's the 888. So there's a lot of information here. There's a lot going on inside the app itself that you can see and do. So look at the Diagnostics tab here. Uh, I've got my battery charge status. It's let me know I've got three bars, so fully charged battery. Temperature is okay. It'll let me know if it gets too high. I can also enable or to disable it. If I disable the tool, nobody can use it, including myself. We can try that real quick. Just give me an alert, let me know that I really want to do this because, like I said, once you do it, it's off, and you can't turn it back on without this app. So, flip it to any position, lights blink, nothing else happens. So, handy if you want to shut your tools down at the end of the day, make sure nobody's using them. All right, we're back up. So, last scene, uh, this is not anything that's clickable on here, but it does tell me the date and time. Now, if you look at Tool Connect on the web, it will bring up a map and show you where it was last seen. That's really helpful. Tool Diagnostics, there's just some other stuff going here. There is a backup cell in the uh, tool itself, so if the battery's disconnected, uh, it can still uh, get some information there. So it's telling me that that's good. When I first paired this, number of trigger pulls it's had. The uh, last time it shut down, it wasn't a failure, it's because I disabled the tool. So it's let me know what shut it down last time. And then the total runtime of the tool. If I want to check out the manual, that's in here too. It'll bring it up and I can scroll through that. It is, uh, it is pinchable, so I can get it up to a size that I can actually read. Let's get back there. All right. Come back to the action section in just a second. That's where most of the fun is. And just hop, pop over here to the alerts real quick. So if I want to set a couple of alerts, uh, there's out of range and one that has a low charge. So if the tool were to leave the Bluetooth range of my phone, that connection is broken, my phone is going to let me know through Tool Connect that that's happened. And then if the battery gets low, so I know it's time to go grab another battery so I don't end up having to stop halfway through a job to uh, cycle them out. So that's handy. All right, so that's in the alerts. Oh, I backed too far out. Get back in there real quick. All right. Oh, sorry, I missed something. Uh, there's also details about whether or not you have lent the tool out there in that diagnostics tab. Now, the actions is where most of everything is taking place that you can uh, do and customize. So, just going from top to bottom, uh, disable it if it's out of range. Again, this is just. Uh, if the connection is broken between the tool and the phone, it's going to automatically disengage the tool so nobody can use it. If you've got a sketchy Bluetooth connection on your phone, that's not terribly helpful. Uh, tool enable or disable, you can do that in here as well. Uh, the tool settings will come back to in just a sec. I can lend this tool out and set the expiration date. So if I want to let somebody borrow this uh, just for uh, the day or overnight, set the date for tomorrow. And let's say I want to give them until 6 p.m. Make sure they get through their whole work day. I can also make a note of who I lent this to, and I might even type the name correctly. So, uh, and you can check here that it will send an alert to your phone at the end of that lending period to let you know that that has expired. So you can either um, set it back up and give them a little longer if they need it, or know that the tool is disabled until it comes back to you. So I can continue here, and then I can confirm it, or I can, in this case, cancel it because I'm not actually lending it to Chris right now. All right, and then I can also unpair the tool completely. And hey, tools get sold, tools get uh, uh, borrowed or given away, and if you want to just unpair this from your Tool Connect app so that somebody else can connect it to theirs, that's where you do that. Now let's talk about some customization. All right. So when I go into this section, uh, first thing it's going to have me do is hold down the mode button for, uh, for three seconds to make this connection. So I'm going to do that right here. One, two, three, I'm in. Okay. Now the connection is made and I can make adjustments to any mode. So 
The 887 had three modes on it. The 888 has four, so you've got a home mode and then three other standard modes. And you can program these however you want to. So the uh, maximum tool speed. Notice that this is a change of speed, but not a change of torque. Those two things are gonna go together. So as you increase the amount of speed, you're also increasing the amount of torque that's gonna be in that mode. So I can go anywhere from 1,000 RPM at the low end to uh, 3,250 RPM on the high end. That same range is the same for all four modes. Set it where you like, or there's other things in here you can play with, like we just saw. There's a precision drive delay. So it's just simply a matter of having a slow start on there so that you can uh, easily and accurately get that screw started. If you've got it on, obviously, it's going to uh, kind of governor your top speed. So I don't want that on this one. So my home, we'll leave it at that. The other things you can play with in here are the LED brightness. Uh, some people want it all the way. Some people uh, don't want it on at all. And again, flip through any of the four modes that you want to, customize them however you like, customize one for self-tapping screws, customize one at 3,000 RPM or 2,500 RPM for driving deck screws with a little more control. So that's pretty much everything that you can do in Tool Connect using the impact driver, the uh, hammer drill, drill drivers. Those are all gonna be a little bit different in, in the type of control that you have. I'm Kenny K with Pro Tool Reviews. I hope that this genuinely helps you decide whether this is something that you like or you don't. Feel free to tell us about it in the comments below. What kinds of things do you like about this? What would you like to see DeWalt add to this that maybe he doesn't currently have? Be sure to subscribe, like, and or follow us for more great tool reviews and news, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.